All right, what is up, guys, and welcome back to uh, on our road to master rank. And uh, right now we're actually in the fifth spot. Um, so I think we're like to get to master rank, we need at least seven more wins somewhere down down line there. Uh, facing off against Japanese player, I can only hope like those signs just like, it feels Japanese. Oof. 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 This is, this is not good, is it? It's an oof team. Right. <laughs> Fuck. So we do the Dragapult. Let's look at this again. How bad is it? I need Seismitoad. For sure. And then is where or not I should have Heliolisk. Heliolisk has its merits here. Um, a lot of pivot option. Toby Kiss also works quite right. I lose to a scarf. You know what? Jesus, I actually lose to that scarf. If <laughs> if that if that if that Galarian Darmanitan is scarf is just is, I'm just packing my bags. That's a wonderful picture from this guy. That's actually really cool. Alright. Um <laughs> You know, this is this is the teams we've been talking about before. That you know, if I struggle versus Safi, it's gonna be something like this, where um, Galarian Darmanitan just naturally eats me, and yeah, I'll always expect him to eat me. Um, the only like positive thing I had versus this team um, as a whole was that um, he has no earthquake switching, uh, but he can U-turn and come out of this. So. Honestly, a banned earthquake is what I got. He's probably gonna U-turn here. If he goes to an Isol Crash, I believe that's a mistake. Superpower. All right, good. Not good. That actually took us out. That's a banded son of a bitch, isn't it? Um. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we're good. We substitute here, and we'll see his remaining mods how we want to tackle this. But we know at least that has to be a bandit. That's the only reason he could kill me. His switching was Mimikyu. Hmm. What? We burn this guy no matter what. We'll see. I think Shadow Claw is his best potential play. Yeah, there we go. And the way I see it, he has two options. You either go directly for the Gigantamax. Which is something I would do. Or. Because both play rough and. Like the way I see it, it has two ways of taking me out. Both works fine. I'll just break it. I'll just have to break it. Hex is my play. And I really just hope that Shadow Claw or Play Rough doesn't take too much damage on me. Goes to Sword Stance. I don't know about that. I mean, Shadow Sneak could do a significant chunk, I'm sure. But you are burned, so it's kinda. Um, it's a double edged sword. 
I don't really want to switch in Togekiss. So I just take him out here. Shadow Sneak could, like I said, be his only real play here. And I don't believe that should take me out. No, but... Shit, that did damage. <laughs> Alright, Mimikyu is gone. Um, basically... I find out here if his... Darmanitan is Scarf or not here, but... But the way I see it... Like, he, he had to max it, and you know, that's it. I just try to keep myself alive. Oh, his own Dragapult. Of course. Nice sub here. He should be able to outspeed me. Um, Dragon Dots. That I didn't expect, actually. And I need to be able to outspeed this guy. Because I don't believe I can take two hits. I don't knock out. Oh, I have to nasty plot. If I lose, I lose. Oh, yes. He could very well be banded or scarfed. This this is good. This is good. All right, cool. Um, so we did the right decision by actually going for that nasty plot. That's cool. <laughs> I'm giving I'm giving myself a heart attack. <laughs> Ooh, jeez. All right, now he has to make a decision. I think uh, he decides to Gigantamax it. So he will be faster, or by going first he's faster, and I just really have to look over my options, because I think it could potentially have a Thunderbolt variant here, but at least my extra HP should save me from the worst, I think. I'm not sure, I mean I am guessing, out of stress. <laughs> But if I'm, if I'm leveling here, there are, there are an option here for me to win. But it all depends how I want to, you know, bait this through. So, Max Flare. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, buddy. That, 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 that was not a play, was it? I was, you know, some type of Thunderbolt was my first initial thought. Uh, and we don't kill him. So if he now is a Scarf variant of the Galarian Darmanitan... I actually will be able to outspeed it. Though it has to be banded. Consider how he beat me, he has to be banded. Seismitoad should easily have taken that hit, then retaliate and kill it, so yeah. It had to be banded. And I think he's he's really really thinking about this. Where did he go wrong? You know, did, did his parent leave him early? Probably not. I don't I have no idea why I said that. But I, I get a win here. That's actually not what I was expecting. I'm happy. I am very happy. Toekis, time and time again, show how great that mod really is. Ooh, I am very happy with my performance here. This was a very... Like, consider... That first turn, losing Seismitoad, and getting back anyway, that was really cool. Um, the only thing I kind of leveled with is if he should have gone with Darmanitan instead of... Uh, instead of actually bringing um, um, his um, Dragapult. But that's only me, like, I have not the right or wrong answer there, it's just, I'm just wondering really. No losses so far. That could absolutely bite me in the ass. Um, cat.
Yaz. Cool. That's our name. And we're fending off against... Sticker Web. Sticker Web and Butterfree. Actually, looking upon a bomber snow, it's... That guy looks about right. Hydreigon doesn't... I don't like Hydreigon overall. But uh, Dragapult looks good. Could good. Um, a bomb snow looks really nice. Togekiss looks to be able to fend off a few things. But yeah, I'm actually I'm feeling Dragapult. I'm feeling a bomb snow. Beartick, not so much. Like I see Beartick, but with Corviknight there, it's it just doesn't hold up. And Hilderlisk isn't bringing me anything. And Togekiss, of course, gets some type of immunity to uh, the sticker web. Like Dragapult deals with the mons that could potentially deal with it really well. So, yeah, we'll do this. Like, I feel the bear tick alone kind of baits in um, my opponent here to go for um, stick web strat. But besides that, like, I'm just gonna bring Blizzard directly. The way I see it, that's my only way of winning. Yeah, there's Galvantula. So what he has to decide on here is... Uh, well, first of all, he doesn't have a switch into uh, Blizzard, does he? I'm just gonna double check that, I don't believe that. No, everything dies to it, so I'm just gonna spam that. The way I see it, I'm gonna bring this guy potentially down to Sash, and then he goes to Stick Whip. Right? That's it. <laughs> and now they're there to say, um, bit disappointed actually that uh, I didn't take him out, or I did, but not the way I intended. So now it's all about Togekiss. I think Draco Wish eats us. More so if it's Scarf, which feels unlikely here. So right, show me your switching. Rillaboom. Is this a Scarf Rillaboom? Because if not, I, mean, I eat it. He could have U-turn. Now whether or not that takes us out, I couldn't say. Doesn't even a fire move, so I think that I think I'm safe in this matchup. Alright. Alright. Assaultist. Drain punch. Okay, cool. Oh, it did alright though. It did alright. But we should be able to take him out next turn. If it doesn't Gigantamax and waste it. But that's his call. Alright. It was kind of in the air. I'll, I'll give him that. So we get the blizzard. I could always freeze him. I knew it was too good to be true. Of course not. Um, and from here, I bring in Togekiss and win. I think. I'm just really considering: Do I need to? Like this guy can and should carry. Stone Edge. So I kinda wanna enforce my damage as soon as possible and go for the max airstream. Um, 
I, I'm having a feeling that Dracovish is his last Pokemon. So, the way I see it, and I, I'm not trying to um, look down upon my opponent, but I absolutely believe if Rillaboom was to play, he should have sacked it to save his Gigantamax to be able to try to wrap up with whatever his po last Pokemon is. But if it is Dracovish, I don't believe that necessarily matters. Because against Dracovish, I should win more so after this airstream. Because he should not be able to get a vicious rend out of me that makes the maximized amount of damage. And I'm just really secure in that with this max airstream. Um, <laughs> that said, there are still other Pokemon he had on his field that uh, are putting on a pressure on us. Now, I believe Assault with Rillaboom is a really great set for it. 85 base speed, come on. That's a dang dangerous Pokemon. It had, been, had it been Jolly, it could actually have been outspeeding here. But considering the damage output I did, I was pretty sure it wasn't. Okay. So... Hear me out here. But why was this to play? It should be sashed. So max starfall only to get ourselves immune. Um, game was cancelled. Alright. Fair enough. And there we have it. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of worse. A bomb is not just going, you know, from clarity to clarity. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be honest, forfeiting is, you know, the worst kind of way of doing it. Just go go at it. Uh, Jolly, Dragovish, that makes sense. Fish is running, they're cool. Bonded Preserver, this, this is a great set of um, Colvinite. Makes a ton of sense in this environment. Electro Web, Bugbustic Web, Fun Wave. Okay, so. Electro Web over. Alright, I guess, you know, to get a less edge. Negating the speed. Pretty standard Hydreigon. Um, pretty risky not to have a flash cannon in this, I would say. And then Air Slash, Leap Hunter, Substitute. Substitute. Tinted Lens, I guess. Compound Eyes. So why don't you have Hurricane? Ah, this is this is not the set, buddy. This is absolutely not set. Ah, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, it was careful, but it makes sense. Like this is, I like this set. This could have been really good. Drum beating combination with knockoff drain punch U-turn. Love it. This is this is a cool set. But yeah, that was actually you know we're still 80 minutes in, so it still took some time. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I was actually, you know, this was not as tough as I think it should have been. But, you know, I'm happy with my performance. And I really hope to make at least a few more games with this team. You know, this is a weird road to rank and a road to mass rank. But we're getting there. I'm actually 6-0 right now. I'm Like I said, you know, I, I don't want to sound arrogant because I'm not really that good. But I think the team structure really makes people having a hard time deciding how to tackle it. Not because it's tough, because it isn't, but there are key individual Pokemon that behaves in a way they shouldn't do. And you gain, I was going to say street cred for that, but rather it's very tough to deal with them head on. As this team lose to Scoff Obama Snow just because it was scoffed. Tremendous amount of pressure very early and um, it worked. It really worked in my favor, I like that. So with that said guys, thank you for watching, of course, as always, have a great day, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care.